So, from Nintendo enthusiasts we have, the panic button plans on bringing more games to Nintendo Switch. Da -da -da. So, when it comes to making Switch port ports of games, developer Panic Button has been the go-to company for Nintendo so far. Recently, it was announced uh, plans for a port of Warfra Warframe, which will not be cross-platform. Other games, that, or yeah, other <laughs> games that have ported over to Switch includes Rocket League, Doom, Wolfenstein 2, and da da. Oh, and if you're wondering if the awesome-based company is going to take a breather, the answer is no. So, da 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 da. Just kind of skimming through because I feel like a lot of. It's it's a very speculative article. Yeah, it is. A lot of it's just but, kind of talking about like well, we, the co-owner. Could they had we like see it come to Switch, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's like any more projects for the Switch in the works, and he responded, "Ton." So I don't know what that means. Yeah. So the thing is, like, it goes on to like uh, rumors about like Ubisoft uh, porting mm -hmm. like Assassin's Creed Origins and stuff like that. So with him, uh, this kind of goes with uh, what is it? So last week we had the news where they said there was a lot of first party games that were unannounced that were going to be coming to the switch this year and mm. this company is saying that you know they're still working on tons of ports for the switch so i wanted to kind of take this in a, a different route which is what are some remakes or ports that you would like to see uh, not just uh, this company do, but other companies as well. Like, it could be anything from the GameCube, Wii, Wii U, that you would like to see remade or ported to the Switch. Because there have been other rumors that uh, there was tons of Wii U ports that were still uh, being worked on as well. Which, if you follow the pattern, apparently Nintendo Switch, at one point they're going to run out of Wii U games to port to the yeah to the switch they've already got like three out of the six games that were on the Wii U. So. <laughs> yeah. no oh, yeah. joking joking but so uh yeah in the in the same way if we could go through and do two games uh that we would like to see ported from either the wii the wii u or the uh the gamecube so it doesn't necessarily have to be current games but mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Okay. So one current yeah, game that we that's not on the Switch, maybe? How do you guys want to do okay. this? Sure. One, like one current, current one, one old? Oldie. One oldie but a goldie. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, we'll start one out with uh, the, the retro game that we would like to see ported. So like Wii U to GameCube. Will we use retro now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just checking, totally. Just checking. Totally can you can you go to your local game store and buy a new Wii U game? Yeah, nice. actually, EB has refurbished uh, EB, which is Electronic Boutique, which is yeah, I was actually over there. GameStop refurbished Wii U's for one seventy nine. Oh, nice. So the hey, uh, right. I was at Walmart the other day, and they had like I think the only Wii U game they had was <laughs> Toad's Treasure Tracker and uh, Twilight oh, Princess I... HD. Both good games. Yeah, and the only I reason they really had like them, Captain Toad. The only reason they had them was because it was the giant boxes that have the amiibo included. Mm -hmm. so e amiibo. Yeah, everything else was Switch and 3DS. Good, good amiibo. Yeah, but start us out. Love Daniel. that wolf link. Oh, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess you know. Mr. D Man, the big D. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Um. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> The Wii U. Wait, 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 wait! Everyone, shut up! I need to shout out to Buzz and Tate, my friend Chris. He's a real life friend of mine. Oh my gosh, oh. I'm so happy! You have Thank friends. Thank you for our podcast. I know. I told them <laughs> that we had um, Daruk on last week, and that, that we were having um... Rivali, the day for tree. Yeah, we had Rivali today, oh, and I'm just, I'm just so happy to see him here. Hello, Buzz and Tate. Okay. Anyways, continue. I thought I was your only friend. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm obsessed. Sometimes, sometimes I have two. Oh, that's not allowed. That goes against our contract. <laughs> contract. <laughs> Contractual <laughs> friends. It was a contract. I signed a contract to be your friend. Did that happen at Starbucks? I wasn't aware of it. Yeah. No. Nothing okay, happened. Sorry. Really. Okay, continue. Anyway, so what was I. Retro game. 
Oh, retro game <laughs> from the Wii U. <laughs> uh, um, so the Wii U had some some actually like hella good games. Um, I feel like Star Fox Zero was a good game that had the mm -hmm. gamepad shoved so far down our throats that we just choked and we couldn't focus. We we're choking on it, so we couldn't focus at the game that was in front of us, which was actually really good. Because we were too busy being like, what is this game pad? Ah! So, so I mean, that's the noise I played while. I, or yeah. I made while I played it. <laughs> so, so I mean, it's the the issues that so many people had with it were gamepad centric. The Switch does not have the gamepad, so we can still have a great Star Fox game with gyroscopic aiming because gyro is the way to go. Um, and and just lose that little bit of weirdness that came with forcing you to use dual screens for an on rail shooter, which was incredibly awkward to do. And um, you got like a really, really good game. Still not as good as Star Fox 64, but maybe that's nostalgia speaking. But it, it still was a good game that I don't think I only ever rented. I don't actually own it. Um, and by rented, I mean borrowed from the library because my library has video games. <laughs> and so uh uh but it was it was a good game and and when I think back on like oh what's what good Wii U game, it's one I personally forget often about that it existed. So that's my first answer. On to whoever's next there. Wait, just find somebody. Wait what game did you say? Star Fox Zero. <laughs> Wait. I thought we were talking about retro games. <laughs> no, like Wii retro U to... games. Wii U Je to Jesse GameCube. said Wii U, but yeah. I was talking about the gamepad this whole time. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, we'll give Kayla a moment to click her no, thoughts. No, I know which game I was going to say. I was just confused because you said retro and then you weren't talking about retro games. Retro was a joke! <laughs> yeah. Ilya, what game would, do, would you like to bring from GameCube to Wii U? <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> any of well, them. my first two thoughts that I had, one of them was half serious, half not, and then I realized it wasn't, well, both of mine, one of them was from the N64, and it's not even Nintendo, I was like, oh, never mind. That's okay. Which was Banjo-Kazooie. Um, yes! Please! Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, go on. Then my second thought, that was half of a joke, sort of, because everyone hates this game, but I was so young when I played it that I loved it. So, which was Super Nintendo Mario Paint. <laughs> oh, I used who to. Have, I had Paint? Mario Paint on emulator for a really long time. It was great. Who, who, who hates but an that actual, game? So many people were like, "That was such a piece of trash." Where I was on the Super Nintendo, and I'm like, "Excuse me, I was like it eight came when I with had that mouse? system." It was cool. <laughs> the fly swatting game made me really anxious, but I enjoyed it. Okay. Uh. I'm appalled that people didn't like that. And the music maker. That was my thing, man. It sucked, but I loved it. But but actually picking one from the GameCube as my retro game, I don't know. I would say, I think I've mentioned this before, Super Mario Sunshine. I love Sunshine. Uh, yeah, I would love to suffer and take that on the road with me. Yes. I love that game. Yeah. Until uh, Mario Odyssey, I hadn't played one since then. So Sunshine, if they did remake it or port it to the Switch, I would want them to hire very confident developers. I wouldn't want someone that was, uh, like, to bring it over and then it'd be like a really crappy version. So. The reason why I think it's good that you say that is because if you recall playing that game, that game is broken. You do something and then something happens and you're like, wait, that didn't actually happen, but why did it happen? And I know because I got Cameron to play recently, and he was like, dude, like, I don't understand. Like, that, I didn't do that. And I was like, oh, that's just Nintendo. Nintendo hates you, and they like to intentionally make, make things glitch. So if you yeah. port it over and you get someone bad to do it, it could be more of a shit show. Yeah. And it's you could use the gyroscope for when you're aiming uh, Flood. Yes, yeah. You made gyroscope. Please. Hmm, which I actually have a friend that I call Flood because her last name is literally Flood. Flood. Oh. Okay. Nice. You pick her up and wear her as a backpack and then. Oh, I have. No. No, this analogy is weird. Me. When I was in uh, middle school, 
in high school, I had a friend with the last name Flood. But I never thought about calling her Flood. So, uh, well, we had so many. Her, we had so many girls in my theater department and of our friend group that had the same first name. She was one of them. So we're just we're like we're just gonna call you Flood. Mm-hmm. So, I'm nice. trip. Um, my. I'm really having a really hard time with this because personally, I would love it if they did Mystical Ninja Star and Gomon. Yeah, that's because... what you brought up on the the one. But podcast. I say that because like I can't play an emulated version of it; it's broken. So I would love it if someone could actually just take the game and bring it to a current console. Other than that, I would say WarioWare. I would love it if we got a WarioWare for Switch. Mm. It doesn't matter, literally <laughs> any of them, because they're all great. I think Cameron is really agreeing right now because he is like <laughs> he is rocking back and forth in his chair. Nice. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. Um, you had all this time to think, Justin. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, Sunshine would be really cool, but I'm gonna go... I'm having a hard time picking between Skyward Sword or like... Oh, we know you I... want that HD. Yes. So, uh, Skyward Sword... Is gonna be my default. So yeah, Skyward Sword HD. I would want it, like it doesn't have to be a remake. It could be a port that just runs in HD, like an emulator. Mm-hmm. It would be really mm-hmm. really cool. Uh, yeah, that's what I would want. Uh, give me a Loftwing amiibo or like a Groose amiibo that I can sleep with. Why do you want to sleep with Grooses on the loose? Are you okay? Who, who doesn't? Why do you want Groose on the loose in your bed? <laughs> Chris is always on the loose. <laughs> no. Alright, so current game. Going back around. Daniel, what is a current game uh, that's released uh, Wait, in the past? Wait, is it already have released? Or is it one that is coming out? Does not matter. Announced for other... a, game, okay. a game coming out, a game so. that has released just like a third party game okay. or something that you would like to be ported over. It has not been announced for Switch yet. But I'm pretty sure it will be anyways. Mm-hmm. Byro. Spyro? Spyro. Mm, I can that's, see that. Spyro? The new, the, Spyro. That's obvious. Spyro. That's, that's so obvious. It's though. already been announced. No, it wasn't hasn't announced it? for Switch yet. What? It speculated, but it hasn't officially been announced. Or did I miss some serious news? <laughs> it... It... it. I thought it leaked. What? Kayla, I broke Kayla. What? Thought, what? To my knowledge, it's all speculation with no oh. official information. But if I'm wrong, correct What's going me, because I'll have I'll pull a different answer out of my ears. I mean I'm Oh, you're right, it was speculation. So wasn't it the same people that did it? I thought it was confirmed, but you're right, because we would have seen something about it during E3. That's right. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's right now announced for just PS4, I believe. Maybe maybe X-Bone, but um, as far as I know, it's, that's that's it. Nothing for, for the old switcheroo. And, and you know what? Um, why? Give us this... We got Crash. Give us the Spiro. Please. Yep. Please, 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 please. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the thing the is game. that like because Crash Bandicoot leaked a mm-hmm. long time ago and then it was finally announced. I thought the same thing uh, was going to happen or like they just went ahead and announced Spyro nope. or like Walmart somewhere leaked the retail thing. I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, Spyro is really awesome. Um, unlike Crash Bandicoot, where it pretends to be a 3d game like it's, you can't you can't like it is 3d yeah but, but like you can't run game, around right? like you're just going basically straight it's pretty much a 2d platformer but in 3d yeah um yeah. whereas spyro is actually a 3d platformer so uh, but kayla what's uh what's 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 what's, what's going on how you doing <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Stop you guys. Um, wait. How recent is recent? Like, 
within yeah, the past. Yeah, my recent game isn't recent. This console With... generation, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so no, okay. So yeah, know. PS4. They had to have released during the PS4 era. Oh, that's pretty reasonable. So, um, the past you four know what? years, I guess. I'm actually gonna say Yoshi's Woolly World. And I say yeah. that because I don't have a Wii U, and I love Yoshi, and I'd really like to play it. Did you play the 3DS port? No. I had all the extra stuff. Oh my gosh. It's by okay. far the superior edition. I, I played a demo me. of it. <laughs> like, I remember I went and I played a demo of it, and it was funny because I was playing this demo, and the person that I was there with, he was like, dude, have you played this game before? And I was like, no. I'm just familiar with how Yoshi games work. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. Jesse, why are you getting closer to the webcam? Stop, you're scaring me. I was trying to listen. That's how it works. You just get close you, to the camera. You, can you hear listen through your webcam. Yeah. It's like oh, how no, you turn the radio thing. down so you can see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Which I do, consistently. <laughs> Me too. Well, Yoshi's Wally World is a really good game, okay? I have both versions. 3DS and Wii U version. <laughs> Which do you I like prefer, more? <laughs> I prefer the Wii U version. How's the and... bottom screen? On 3DS. What is I was going to say the bottom screen like snap, on the Wii U. Like the, the, the heads up display. Um, okay. That's all it's really used for. I like trust yours. you. But um, the Wii U version, I think, is the better version, even though the 3DS version technically has more in it. Yeah, it's like the, the um, Game Boy Advanced version of uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. has a ton of new levels. That you have to take into account the screen crunch. I always... But screen crunch kills me because when you have a console game and then it's moved to a handheld, they always screen crunch it, which means that the air who are confused watching this, the area that you can actually see is a lot smaller. Like that, that smaller. So imagine if okay, the, what you're seeing on my webcam right now is a console game, and then we port it to handheld, and you can only see now this much mm -hmm. of what's going on, and it, it's, it's zoomed in. It's zoomed, yeah, it's zoomed in, and it's just. It can really kill a platformer, especially mm -hmm. if you cannot see what is ahead of you. Uh, also, Imagine... the, the yarn aesthetic looks so good on Wii U. It looks really good, and on on 3DS, it looks like Garbage. bad words that I was yeah. gonna. Say. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I could really... see them forming. No, so if you uh, good what you were saying, Daniel. If you look at the Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced um, platform games. That's yeah, like where like yeah. the character takes up half the screen. So then like yeah. the area, like you can only see like six feet in front of him and like six feet behind. So it makes the platforming really hard, especially for Sonic games, like on the oh yeah Sega Game Gear, where like you're going super fast but you can't even see what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, whereas on home consoles, it's zoomed way out so you can see like everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Wooly I would World. recommend, yes. Wooly World, it's, it's a really good game, though. 240p, I I zoomed in. Mm, don't do it. But yeah. what is nice is that the 3DS version gives you the Poochie Amiibo. Mm-hmm. And he's just, it's just cute as hell. You know what they should have done? Check out my done. Instagram, guys. I posted a picture of it just yeah. like two days ago. If you want to see, if you want to see Daniel's Amiibos, that's on his back shelf. Go to Instagram.com slash I am Daniel. No, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, no, so... What? What's Kayla's going on? Kayla's gone. Kayla? I haven't answered yet. Kayla answered, but Kayla. then Daniel started talking about it. I just started... I was elaborating on her answer. Oh, sorry, she I didn't Bully know. World, I said, that's a good game. And then you yeah. start asking questions about the game. Ilya. Ilya. Oh, wow, Choose. I got lost too then. Choose. What's, um, what's up? How, how are you doing? Like, I was, I'm you okay? good. I'm getting real drowsy. The you pills need some are kicking in. Like like in. Need some espresso. I don't like espresso. Excuse I only drink me. water. It's the only drink I like. What? <laughs> what in tarnish? And tea. Hot tea. I like hot tea. Okay. And yeah, apple juice, water. but it has many <laughs> carbs, so I can't drink. Okay. Um. Um. I was thinking about like Wii Fit Plus and stuff. I know I mentioned that in another podcast, but that's older. I actually, I guess not a port, but I would want to see it a lot broader and redone a little bit. Mm -hmm. It sounds silly, but Happy Home Designer. 
I no. used I, uh -uh. I played mm -hmm. the crap out of that game, but unfortunately, the problem was it finished. And that's what I didn't like about it because I was like, Animal Crossing games are not supposed to finish. Mm -hmm. So I'd want to see like a different version of that because I really enjoyed Happy just getting to design too. homes. Well, like getting, well, maybe I guess, but like I just <laughs> want to design homes without a budget. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. But I don't, there has to be a way for it to not. End. My fear is if they decided to try and port the game over, they'd be like, oh, there we go. We gave everyone Animal Crossing and then I will, I will lose it. Because as far as I'm concerned, bad. the last Animal Crossing we got was in 2013. Everything after that is just... What about Amiibo Festival? I'm convinced that was of the devil. I feel like Daniel and I are actually making eye contact right now. <laughs> I know, it's great. <laughs> 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 or they should do this. They sh when they make the new Animal Crossing and they release it, that should be like something you can do as the mayor or something. Is you can also double as a home designer. Ooh, yeah, so make that an cool. aspect mm -hmm. of because I know I think they're keeping the mayor idea, which I think that allowed a lot of extra creative freedom. I love that part of New Leaf. So maybe add it to Animal Crossing because I I recognize that fear. That makes sense. All right. Um... Yeah, Current game for the Switch. I'm going to say maybe that oh, was uh, Dragon Quest World from Capcom. Right. Okay. No, not not no not. <laughs> sorry, not Dragon Quest. Uh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. It's um Monster Hunter World. Monster. Oh. Hunter. Yeah. No. I so like we all just kind of like give this so, yeah. like yeah. No, I mixed I, I mixed up monster. I mixed up Monster Hunter and then Dragon Quest. So everyone, oh, please Hunter's forgive so me. Good. So uh, Capcom recently, we did a new story a few months ago about how they ported over Resident Evil seven for yeah seven for the switch but they had it so you would play an online version and then it would stream to your switch um right so you weren't actually downloading the real game because technically speaking you would be playing a very crappy version because all the settings would be really low and the resolution would be really low so it, it would be like you're playing it on a like a Nintendo 64, basically. So um, they had it to where you were streaming it. So then you'd be playing it in 720p and it would actually be HD and look like the PS4 version and everything. But how can you play it on the go if you need to stream it? Well, it's an online yeah, game. Jesse. Monster Hunter World is an online game. That's so you would need to have the internet. Nintendo Switch. No, no. So you would need the internet connection. To play it anyways true. because it's an true. online game okay true true, true so true. yeah you'd be streaming like if you're in a situation to where you can play it online then you would also be in a situation to where you can stream it so true. you need the internet connection either way hopefully a good one because <laughs> yeah because you're not only <laughs> streaming the game you're also yeah, yeah. so it, it works out it works out um, people in the chat says Legend of Dragoon, uh, Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD port. That's what I was saying whenever oh. I was um, I was doing the uh, Skyward Sword debate. Uh, I was picking between one of those games that was already made, which are likely coming anyways, and Skyward Sword. And I just went with Skyward Sword because it's not in HD yet. Um, but if it was on the Switch, Wind Waker HD especially... Uh, that means Kayla would just get sent a free copy and she wouldn't need to borrow stuff from Daniel. I don't get sent free anything. Hello? She gets loaned stuff. Oh yeah, yes, loaned. You'd get... Oh no, the games are... like They gave me game codes and they stay on my Nintendo account. Oh, okay. You but that's what, games, that's what I was saying. Those are free games. They would send you they're, the free game? They're what? free stuff. Don't what? sell your stuff. If it's not a multiplayer game, I won't get it. Uh, I give up. I'd give up my like dental for that. No, actually, it's wait. it's multiplayer. You can actually, put the messages in the bottle, throw them in the ocean. That's multiplayer, right? Meverse. I'm I'm amazed. 
Astounding. <laughs> Meverse, guys. Rest in peace, Meverse. So yeah, I had yeah. friends that Rest worked at Meverse. Pieces. Now I don't know where they work. Were they Probably just switched still. to different departments? Were they Probably. Were they just sorry, they're we just don't we don't need go. you anymore. You're now you're obsolete. they're they're probably moderating the Splatoon 2 stuff that you can write. But just that. Yeah. All well right. no, Mario Maker still uses like some online stuff, so they're probably still doing that. Fifty two. I don't know. I don't know things. You you don't. So that's the end of that I topic. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. All right. So let's try to get through this uh, really fast. Um, so. Hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more.